Hi there, welcome to eLink.io. Today we're going to give you a complete demo and walk through eLink's platform in its entirety. First, we'll kick things off by giving you an introduction to eLink.io and discuss why so many professionals are using it. Next, we'll walk through a tour of eLink's platform and create content together. Then, we'll show you all the ways that you can share your content. After that, we'll walk through eLink's Chrome extension and show you how you can save and publish content on the go. Then, we'll show you the link library and how you can access it to create content from your saved web links. Finally, we'll show you the RSS feed reader and show you how you can read and create content from the publications you trust. Part 1. Introduction to eLink eLink is an all-in-one content curation platform that helps you save and organize all your links in one central place and create beautiful visual collections by clubbing those web links. These visual web link collections can be shared as an email newsletter, embedded on your website for quick content creation, or shared as a single web page to any social media channel. With over 90,000 users worldwide, eLink is helping marketers, businesses, influencers, and educators create beautiful content in half the time and reuse their content in multiple ways. Before we jump into the tutorial on how to use eLink, let's quickly look at all the platforms you can use eLink with. eLink newsletters can be sent via Gmail, MailChimp, or nearly any third-party email provider that supports HTML. You can embed your eLinks on nearly any website like WordPress, Squarespace, Wix, Google Sites, and many more. You can share your eLink as a web link anywhere on the web via Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, LinkedIn, and many more. Part 2 eLink Tour. Let's give you a tour of eLink's platform and show you how you can create content in minutes. Once you sign up for eLink, you'll land on your dashboard screen where you'll be prompted to create your first post. Next, you'll see a pop-up that allows you to start from scratch or use a template. For this tutorial, let's go ahead and start from scratch. You've now launched eLink's editor, where you can create content. eLink is different from any other content builder out there. You'll see right away that you don't see the building blocks of traditional content builders, and that's done on purpose to help speed up the process for you to create content quickly and easily. On the first step, you'll want to add web links to create your collection. Let's say that we're sharing an industry news-related email newsletter to our customers. We can add web links from articles, YouTube videos, cloud files, social media posts, ebooks, podcasts, and much more. Basically, anything online with a web link can be added. For our first link, let's go to YouTube and locate our video and copy the web link. Now let's go back to eLink and paste this web link into this text field. You'll see eLink automatically fetches the image, title, and description. On the right hand side, you'll see the preview of what your content is starting to look like. Let's go ahead and add an article web link. Again, you'll see that the content appears on the right hand side. Let's continue adding four more links. You can see how the body of our content is really starting to come together. On the left hand side, you'll see that you can adjust your visual bookmark tiles. You can drag them and you'll see that your content automatically gets adjusted and placed in the order you want it to appear. If you want to edit the title, description, and image of your content, you can do that by clicking on the edit icon here. Let's start by editing the image by clicking the pencil icon. You'll see now that you can zoom in, zoom out, scale to fit, or upload your own image. It's incredibly easy to make sure all of the content you're sharing looks visually stunning. Once you're done, click Save. Next, edit the title or description to add your own voice. After you've finished your edits, click Save. You'll see that all your updates are reflected in the preview screen on the right-hand side. Now that we have our links added, let's move on to the next step and click on the header tab. Here you'll see the options to add the header body. Play around with the formatting options to make it a fun read, depending on what you're creating. For this example, I'm going to paste some content inside. 
Next, you can add a header image of any size height. We do recommend that your width is 1500 pixels. You can also add a footer to add a conclusion to the content you're sharing. And last, you can personalize your content page by adding your profile to the top. In your profile section, you can add an image, a tagline, and even your website or other social media links. Adding your profile is totally optional, and you can turn this on or off for any post that you create. Once you're done with the header, you can move on to layouts. Elink's layouts work like magic. Here you can choose between any layout, whether it's a single column, double column, triple column, or a mixed display. You'll see that your content on the right hand side automatically reformats itself. If you're creating content that should be newsletter friendly, you can choose this email newsletter checkmark box. You'll want to choose a layout that makes sense for the content you're creating. Elink is the only platform that lets you change layouts with a single click without needing to start from scratch every time. And the best part is, is that you can come back at any time, even after your content has been published, and update the content and layout in real time. This single feature will save you so much valuable time. After you've selected a layout, you'll want to customize the settings by going to the Settings tab. Here you can choose your theme colors, text colors, and background colors. Here you can select your heading font style, body font style, and add button text. You can choose to customize your SEO settings and choose your title, description, keywords, or URL. And you can also choose to make your content private so that Google doesn't crawl your page. You can choose a public image that will show up when you're sharing it on social media or if you're sharing it on Slack and other platforms. You can also add a title for your content so that you can find it easily in your dashboard. You can click the eye icon so that you can see a preview of your content. And if you're not ready to publish your work, make sure to click save before exiting your e-link post. It'll keep it in draft state so that you can continue finessing it until you're ready to publish it. At this point, our content is ready. So let's go ahead and hit the publish button on the top right corner. Part three, how to share content. Once you publish your e-link, you'll be taken to a sharing slider screen where you can choose to share your content in various ways. You can send it as an email newsletter. You can share it via social media. You can share it as a single web page to your audience. You can also embed your web link collection onto nearly any website or blog. Essentially, your one piece of content you created can be turned into multiple pieces of content. Let's walk through each of the sharing methods. The first one is sharing your e-link collection as a beautiful email newsletter. You can share it via Gmail, MailChimp, or nearly any third-party email provider that allows HTML emails like ActiveCampaign, Aweber, Outlook, and many others. We have video tutorials and guides that show you how to export e-link newsletters to various providers. Just click on the Learn More button. Here's an example of how an email newsletter looks when you've exported it to Gmail. You can see that you can add your recipients, you can add a subject line, and you'll see your beautiful email newsletter in the body waiting to be sent out. This is how an email newsletter looks in MailChimp when you've exported it. If you're familiar with MailChimp or a similar platform, you'll see what a time-saving platform eLink is. It's saving business professionals hours of time every day, week, and month so that they can focus their time on other tasks that are worthy of their time. Another way to share your content is as a single web page with one link. You can share your single web page on social media, Slack, add it to your Instagram bio link, and much more. The last way to share your e-link collection is by embedding your content onto any website or blog, like WordPress, Wix, Google Sites, Squarespace, and many more. You can create and embed various types of website content like video collections, daily news articles, press mention pages, resources, affiliate product collections, and much more. Now that you know how to create and share your e-link collections quickly, let's go over some amazing advanced features that will save you valuable time. Part four, e-link's bookmark manager Chrome extension. The first tip we have for you is to download e-link's Chrome extension. Elink's Chrome extension allows you to save web links on the go. You can save any article, YouTube video, podcast, or website 
by clicking on the e-link logo. You can also right click on any page, right click on any image, or right click on any web link and save that content. Let's say that I wanted to save this article. I can click on eLink's logo and a screen appears allowing me to select the image that best represents this content. I can also take a screenshot or click the crop to scale to see the image in its entirety. Once you're done selecting the image, you'll see that the web link has been saved to my link library automatically. We'll give you a tour of the link library in a bit. Meanwhile, you can click on the pencil icon to update the image, title, and description. You can also add a label if you want to organize your saved web links around certain topics in your link library. Once you're done, click Save. You can either stop here and continue saving web links, just like you would a traditional bookmark manager, or you can click the Add to Post button. On the next screen, you'll see a list of the content you've created that's been published, that's in draft state, or you can create a brand new content post by clicking this button. I'm going to go ahead and add this article to the post that we were just creating together. Now if I go back to eLink and go to the post section, I can click the preview icon next to the post that we created, and you can see that the content's been updated in real time. Let's take a quick pause and recap what this all means. The Chrome extension allows you to save any type of web content to your link library for future use, access, and sharing. You can also add articles to a brand new web link collection. You can add articles to web link collections that are in draft state, or you can add articles to a published collection and watch it update in real time. That means that if you've shared an e-link post via a single web link or embedded it onto a website or blog, you don't have to do anything other than use eLink's Chrome extension and update your content. Part 5. Link Library Now that you have a great understanding of how and why you should be using eLink's Chrome extension, I want to show you the link library that we were talking about. Let's go back to eLink.io and click on the Link Library tab above. Here you'll see all the content that we've been saving. You can search and filter by content type, time, and labels to quickly find your web links. By now you've probably noticed the checkmark boxes in the top left corner of every web link tile. You can click the check marks to start collecting web links that you want to bundle and create a brand new piece of content with. Once you're done selecting the web links, click on the build post button. Talk about genius. Most bookmark managers let you save content, but they won't let you choose images, edit titles and descriptions and then collect and bundle those pieces to create content out of them. One other way that you can use your link library is when you're inside of your post editor. You can click the link library button on the add links tab. You'll see that you can add links directly from your link library. Part six, RSS feed reader. One more pro tip we have for you is to use eLink's RSS feed reader. eLink's RSS feed reader allows you to add various publications and you can filter, sort, and read articles. It's the only feed reader that lets you start collecting articles and turn those articles into content. As you're searching, you can create a collection by clicking the checkmark boxes next to the article snippet, or you can click on the checkmark box in the top left corner of any article. Once you're done collecting your articles, you can turn it into a brand new piece of content by clicking the build post button. It's really easy. Another way that you can use the RSS feed is when you're inside of the post editor. You can click on the RSS feed button on the add links tab. You'll see that you can add links directly from your RSS feed. And that's it. You're ready to dive into eLinks platform. We hope that you're as excited as we are that you can create content so quickly and easily by just curating web links. To learn more about eLink, go to eLink.io or visit our help center at help.elink.io.